So I've harvested this buckwheat honey this morning. Uh, believe you me, it's not a lot. Okay, this, there it is. That's the last few frames in extractor. I've, got, I've done one run of the extractor full, but not even full frames. The frames were like maybe a fifth full. A few had all the frame capped, but not many. And this is the last machine running, but in there, that is the buckwheat honey for this year. That is it. So what I'll do is I'll filter that in a minute, run it through a sieve, and then um, we can celebrate. We can have a party because the 12 hives have been visited three times. They were taken up there, put on pallets, prepared, checked three times as I just said, and then uh, now they are um, without supers. I've just put the treatments in because actually my colleague I met up there because he was getting some bread up there because he lives nearby and he came and helped me. So we basically took the honey off that was there, put the treatments in straight away. And so they're done. So I've kind of caught up on one visit because of him. It's amazing when there's two of you, how much you can help. But that is it. That is the sum of 12 hives taken to the buckwheat. Good economics. <laughs> But as I said in my video, you've got to look at it um, pragmatically. You've got to be open-minded and there's no doubt that honey tastes completely different. Um, I already have my finger in that and it's, it smells a bit like pig shit, liquid slurry, to be honest. It's very, very strong. Not as bad as that, but it, it has that hint of like almost a spiciness, almost a... A, a very, very strong flight, uh, smell, but when you actually taste it, it's actually pretty pleasant. It's actually quite a nice honey to taste. So, uh, I'm just being honest, that's how what I feel it's like. I won't be a big eater of buckwheat honey, but it's one to have, it's another one to be able to uh, put into pots. <laughs> I'll get about 15 pots of that, maybe 20 pots, and give the farmer a couple, blah, blah, blah. Um, but that's it. That is the buckwheat honey done. See, we have a good sense of humor in this workshop and uh, I actually um, was slow getting back here because I had to stop off on the way. And uh, when I arrived back in my supers, my colleague rushed out and said, I've got everything ready for you. I've got everything ready for this huge crop you got. He said, I've got all the buckets out. He said, here you are. That should do it pretty well. <laughs> Funnily enough, he wasn't that far off. <laughs> but anyway, um, on that note, I'm going to bid you farewell and uh, catch you again soon. Bye for now.